Welcome back everyone. In this video you will see us make over our front door garage and we're like re-giving a little freshen up makeover. So you guys before we begin I would like to say a prayer. Thank you dear Heavenly Father. I am so glad to begin another day with you in my heart. Thank you for loving me and helping me to handle all things that will come my way today. I am totally dependent on you for wisdom and grace, and I celebrate your presence in my life. And I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for being my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Hey, you guys. It is after the storm. We have did a lot of cleanup. So I am going to redo our front door and our garage door. I'm going to repaint them because the sun is, my home face is just the sun. And the sun is killing my paint. I have a Sharon Williams weatherproof paint that uh, we painted our house again like six years ago. And it's supposed to last to 10 years. But y'all, y'all see at this time of the day, and like at noon time and it's actually like 4 30 in the afternoon y'all see how the different colors is fading and look at my garage ham front door we had we have to paint it anyway because we had uh some things fixed on our front door from water damage so i'm gonna show y'all what we're gonna be doing after we get through uh doing the landscape cleaning up then i am going to paint these buckets probably black i'm thinking about black and i am going to scrape this door front down and uh see where the paint is like chipping you know it's chipping off so we're going to be scraping all this down and giving our front door a refresh i have ordered a fall reef that i already have just haven't put it up yet and you guys, I'm going to Lowe's to pick up the paint. And yeah, we're going to give our garage door and our front door and walkway a refresh. So yeah. And you guys will see what it's looking like when we finish. But right now, hey you guys, head. we're headed, uh, we're at Home Depot. We are getting some paint to paint our metal garage door and also our front door there's my sweetie ready to work babe yes baby we Always. finna do it we finna uh redo our front porch door and garage <laughs> Pick a nice cranberry color and the bear paint. Y'all, we love this color of the year. It is this uh, cranberry color. This is beautiful. So, uh, this is what we're going to be getting this color for our front door and our garage. So y'all, let's go back here, take this with me, get our paint shook up, but I'm going to take y'all back so we can see the lighting 
what lighting we're gonna choose for the family room. Let's see. We are here at Home Depot. Y'all, we're in the lighting section. Look how beautiful these light fixtures are. You know, they can go in your bathroom, over your tub, or your vanity. They are just so cool. I'm kind of like changing out. And y'all, I am looking for a 60 inch um, ceiling fan. This is a nice one uh, because it does get hot. And we have a LED light in our family room. So we're going to change that out to uh, a LED led ceiling fan with the light in the ceiling fan this is so nice just to be able to change out light fixtures it just uplifts you guys look how beautiful when you change your lighting in your space it's like um you add in something new to your life, plus you giving your space a revamp. You know, you refreshing it. Look at all these different uh, light fixtures. I went to other stores, but for some reason, Home Depot have some nice, reasonable lighting. Um, I like Lamps Plus. I really like those. I have ordered a couple of lights from uh, Lamps Plus. So yeah, y'all. I love looking to see what Home Depot have. All right, everybody, we finna go. I finna put on my hat and we finna go and we finna do this yard. So gonna put on my hat we're gonna get out here in this sun Whew, it's a hot day today y'all very hot day so we're gonna plant our plants and I'm gonna show y'all the stuff that I got from Amazon all right everybody these are the planters that was up on our porch you guys the yeah. sun is gone down I am gonna be using this uh, black lacquer rustoleum black lacquer so I'm gonna put this on uh, on these pots.
that I'm going to be putting in the planters. I painted the uh, planters. We sprayed them black. And we're just going to give the front porch a good pressure wash and everything going to be pressure washed. And we're going to paint the door in the garage. Um, we're not going to paint the concrete because it's still pretty good just need to be clean you know the paint just cleaned up a little bit then in the spring we'll move along to that project so i ordered some stuff and we're going to be decorating the front porch so i wanted to show y'all the pots these are the moms that uh, i picked up at our local nursery so yeah oh i like that color it's like a, a burnt orange this one is like a yellowish brown got yellow and brown in it they are so pretty. Got a bunch of little buds. Look at all the new buds that is happening. Look at that. Y'all, look how beautiful those flowers are. So, yeah, and I have uh, some more some more looking like chrysanthemums, button daisies. Hey, sweetie pie. Go on in. They upstairs. Wait a minute, let me, let me get this Ooh, handsome. Ooh, let me get this handsome young man. All right. Got Kobe on the T. Love Kobe. Wait, Kobe. whoa, whoa. What'd you say now? Got Kobe on the T. Kobe was, the, you know what I'm saying, my favorite player. That's Aww. my, my RP Kobe. But lovely flowers. Well, lovely thank flowers. you, sweetheart. Course, thank you. Of course. They upstairs, sweetie. Yes, ma'am. All right, y'all. You see the flowers? And. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix the yellow, and this is another like a, a burnt orange, but it's got more of a, a lavender tone. Look at all those new little buds. It's more like a darkish purple, like a darkish purple. It's more buds, so I get a true color once everything come out. But I'm gonna be planting them in these containers and um, add some fertilizer, some water, and plant them in these containers while my husband finish up sealing the door and then we're going to pressure wash the door and paint so y'all next time y'all see y'all will see us working and then the reveal of what you guys these concrete pots are heavy and they are beautiful they were sucking up the paint i am just adding some amendments like a uh, fertilizer and some garden uh lawn lie to the um planters to kind of like uh amend my soil a little bit you know so i can uh that that is already in these pots so i can get ready to plant these moms i had one little vinca plant that survived in this pot y'all and look how beautiful it is i bought these uh moms from tractor supply and y'all they are beautiful i love the burnt orange color that's on them and i am just planning something up for uh october and november and it is so i am just planting this uh mums in this in this planter to put at the front door so y'all that's going to be on one side of the porch and the other planter i'm going to plant this yellow and orange uh, mom in this planter. So yeah, that's what I am doing. Trying to do something to make the front yard look nice. My husband is going to uh, trim the lawn. He's going to trim the trees. He's going to clean out the flower bed. And I am just going to go around and try to make things beautiful. Thank you. 
Guys, my husband up there working it out. He's sanding the door. Let's see what he's up to. He scraped up there and got all that crud and all that ceiling and stuff that the company put on it. He did a fantastic job. Well, he's getting ready to uh, finish scraping and sanding and sealing the doors. And then he will be ready to paint them. Yep. You guys, I am thinking about painting that black. I think that'll look good. So, yeah. Boom, bring it down to paint. <laughs> Tighten up the yard. We're going to take this flag down. I ordered some stuff from Amazon. We're also going to replace both of the, uh, the hanging solar lights. <laughs> is coming out a little bit this is the garage door that we're going to be working on yep see just uh repainted and you know get everything looking nice and fresh y'all it's looking good you see how faded it is wait until y'all see after we repaint it he's getting ready to pressure wash so y'all we're gonna clean the awnings over the house and we also have this uh, degreaser detergent that fades mold and mildew. We're going to be using that. We're going to uh, be spraying down the awnings, the door, and stuff like that to get all the dirt and grime off everything and pressure wash the front of the house. So, you guys, you guys, gonna he's going to uh, 
spray some uh, some back outdoor detergent cleaner. He is spraying it on the doors, and he's also going to spray it on the awnings. It's up there, the awning, the doors. So he already scraped the doors, all the paint, loose paint, and stuff like that, and he sealed and corked it. So now he's just spraying some... Uh, mildew and mold remove off the windows and the doors and y'all he gonna spray our awnings <music> Y'all, he is doing a fabulous job. This is the only part that scares me when he have to go up on this ladder, y'all. Even Every time he uses the ladder, I make sure I'm around somewhere with my phone. He just a daredevil. He like heights and he like climbing. And I'm up there. I'm saying, honey, honey, be careful. Be careful because that wand is kind of powerful you know he like to do little stuff like that to scare me and keep me pampering after him but y'all he is doing a mighty fine job and he's getting ready to uh after he finished pressure washing the awnings he gonna pressure right to wash the uh, garage door the front of the house and everything like that <laughs>
So you guys, I hope y'all enjoy our part one of this video. Part two video will be a few days after this one, y'all. He's got to finish painting. So watch and press your wash. And I thank y'all guys for hanging in here this long with me. And you guys, next video, you will see the final reveal and the stuff that I got from my Amazon haul. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>